ये कैसा मैं All right. And, and then in that question, uh, we keep the base and we subtract the exponents. And then finally, uh, negative and negative become a positive. And then you have x to the power of negative a plus a. We have two numbers with different sign. What do we need to do? Two numbers with different sign, we need to subtract them. And then minus a plus a which is zero any number of power of zero is equal to one good job let me move off to next question which is the question 14. got it and then we have x to the power of 16 over x to the power of 9, we have uh, two equal bases that we are dividing. What do we need to do? Subtract. Keep the base and subtract the exponent. And then 16 minus 9? 7. 7. 7. This is the final answer. Okay, right here. Got it? Can we move to the next one? Yes. yes. Question 15 now. For question 15, we have x negative 3 over x to the power of negative 18. We have two equal bases that we are dividing. What do we need to do? Subtract, keep the bases and keep subtract. The base and subtract the exponent. Negative times negative. Positive. Become a positive. And then you have x minus 3 plus 18. Two numbers with different sign. What do we need to do? Subtraction. Right. Subtract the them and keep the sign of the number that I had the higher absolute value, which is 18. Got it? Yeah. Perfect. Next question. On this question, we have two to the power over two to the power of negative one. What is the what is the exponent of this two? One. One. Um, okay. We do the same process. We have two equal bases. What do we need to do? Keep the base. Keep the base and subtract the exponents. Always, I highly recommend to do it by a step, guys. Do all these exercises by a step. This is the only way that you can never make a mistake. If you do it, all of them by a step. Two, ne two negative and negative become a positive, and then you have one plus one, and then you have two to the power of two as a result, which is the same that we are looking for. Questions on this exercise? Questions on this one. No questions at all? No. no. Let's do next one. Question uh, 17. On question 17, we have x to the power of 6 over x to the power of 16. And then we have the same thing. Two equal bases that we are dividing. We keep the base and we subtract the exponent. As a result, we have x to the power of? 10. Minus 10. Minus 10. Minus 10. Negative, negative 10. 10. Can we left a negative exponent? No. No. We need to put it. One over the same expression, but positive. 
square points. Question 18. Question 18. We have x to the power of negative 17 over x to the power of negative 4. We do the same procedure. Two equal bases that we are dividing, we keep the base and we subtract the exponents negative 17 minus negative 4. Negative times negative become a positive. And then you have x negative 17 plus 4. Two numbers with different signs. What do we need to do? Subtract. Subtract. And then as a result, we have one. Negative 17 plus 4? Negative. Negative 13. Can we left a negative exponent? No. One. one over x to the power of 13. And this is the final result. Question 19. The question says, decide whether the expression has been simplified correctly. This is a, no. b, power of two, equal a, b to the power of two. This is correct? No. 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 The correctly way will be a, a to, to the, the power, power of two, b to the power of two. For example, if we have like 3x to the power of 2 to the power of 2, how would be the best way that we can get a solution on this exercise? 3 a to the power of 2. 3 to the power of 2. x 2 to the power of 2x4. Perfect. And how much is 3 to the power of 2, Steve? 9. 9x to the power of 4. This is the final result. Clear, everyone? Yes. Okay. Let's do next question. Question number 20. The question number 20 is correctly? Yes. Yes. This is correct. This is correct. Uh, and question 21 is correct? No. 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 The best way that question 21 will be correct is by the following. A to the power over 2 to the power of 6 will be correctly by the following way. A to the power of 6 over 2 to the power of 6. six. Let's do now question 22. Question 22, which is 6 to the power of negative 4 over 7 to the power of negative 3. Got it? There is one property that I said, P over Q to the negative one is equal to Q over P positive. And then you can state that this one will be seven to the power of three over six to the power of four. Then seven to the power of three, which is 343. And six to the power of four, that will be one, Two ninety six. Clear, everyone? Yes. Okay. 
Let's continue. Question, question 23. Question 23. Two. Question 2023 20, is too good. Um, Sergio, you get it? Yeah. Um, Alice Leida. Uh, yeah. Elizabeth. Yes. Okay, Yamile. Yes. Ananita. Yes, sir. Perfect. Let's continue now. Okay, we have Lisa the game up. We have now question uh, 20. Okay, we did 23. We have 24. We have 24. What is the answer for 24? One. 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 Remember, two to the negative. Negative two to the power of zero is equal to one. 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 Um, negative two to the power of zero is equal to zero. Negative one. Negative one. one. Check the frame. For example, question 20, 25, what is the answer? Negative one. Negative one. Question 26. What is the answer? Two. 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 Because two to the power of zero, one. Eight to the power of zero, one. One plus one, two. Two. Okay, go to question 27. What is the result? One. One. Question 28. Question 28. It's five over two to the power of four. Uh, this is two over five to the negative to the negative um to the negative four this one will be a five over two to the power of four that will be five to the power of four over two to the power of four how much is five to the power of four 625, 625 over 16 over 16. Good job. Question 29. 25 is B. Hmm? I got B. You got B. Let's check it out. We have, we have negative six six zero six six. Where is the decimal point? Where is the decimal point right here? Between six point six and six. At the end the, of the, the last zero at the right? end. Yeah. And then start running until you get a number between one to ten. One, two. Three, four, five, and then this is negative six times six times ten of power of five. This is the answer. Question 
Got it, everyone. Yes? Yes. Yes. Question 30. Question 30. What is the answer? Go. Go ahead. Um, that is your two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then is uh, 2.3 times 10 of power or negative eight. Negative A, right? Negative A. Yes. 